So the first thing you want to do is lay some saran wrap over top of your chicken breast. Grab up my handy dandy mallet and I'm going to pound this out until it's about, oh, I'd say three quarters of an inch thick. Now you can use a rolling pin, anything you've got on hand. Now I've got the chicken flattened out. I'm just gonna cut the tenderloin off here. I'm gonna use this for nuggets later. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this into a circle just to beautify it. Just so it looks like a chicken burger. Again, nuggets out of these. Okay, that's about perfect, just like that. Now we'll just set this aside. Now for our dredging stations. In the first station, I'm gonna add in three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of cornstarch, plop, a teaspoon of salt, followed by a teaspoon of pepper, of course, that I love so much, some onion powder, again, another teaspoon. This is all a teaspoon some paprika. Now I'm using the smoked stuff. You can use a regular, but I just love the smoked. A teaspoon of garlic powder. I just can't get by without my garlic. And about half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now the cayenne, I should mention, you could add more or less depending on how hot you want it. I like mine fairly hot, but you know, you can even leave it out entirely. Now here is the secret to crispiness, my friends some ice cold sparkling water. Now let's crack this open. So we're gonna use about a cup of this. Now I should mention too that you can use beer, club soda, whatever you like, as long as it's got that carbonation to it. That just adds that nice crispiness. Pour our sparkling water in. And we'll just whip this up. Till a nice batter forms. Now in our second station, I'm going to add in half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Now I use the panko, but they really got a nice texture to them. It is time now to grab up some of our chicken and we're just going to dredge it in that wonderfully yummy batter. Making sure it's completely coated into the panko breadcrumbs. And again, swirl it around, making sure lots of coating on it. And we'll just set this aside on a plate. Now guys, this is exactly the same recipe we use for our crispy onion rings, and they turn out so good. Check that video out if you got a chance. But guaranteed this will be crispy. And if you have to use more breadcrumbs or you need more breadcrumbs, just go ahead and add a little more. I had to, these are absorbing up fairly, fairly quickly. Okay, I've got my oil heated up to about 350 here, and I'm gonna place the chicken in. And we'll cook this, so I'd say about four minutes on each side, just until it's a beautiful golden brown. Now it's a beautiful golden brown. I'm just gonna pull this out and set it aside on a wire rack. And this is crispy, guys. I don't know if you can hear this, but I'll try. Just listen to that. Oh, oh, they are gonna be so good. The crispiest chicken burgers you'll ever make. One more time. <laughs> okay, let's build our yummy burger. I'm sure you know how to do this, but it's kind of fun doing it together. Okay, starting with some mayo. Some lettuce, of course. Of course, our crispy, crispy chicken patty. And of course, you gotta have cheese. The chicken is saying, screaming, just give me cheese. Some tomatoes or tomatoes. Of course, everybody builds them differently, but you know, whatever. Pickles, I'm using dill here, but you can use bread and butter, whatever you like. And I'm gonna go all crazy here and add another lettuce. A bit more mayo on top of the burger. And pop the top on. Oh, doesn't that look gorgeous, guys? Wow. And there you have it, my friends, the juiciest, crispiest chicken burgers you will ever make. Absolutely delicious, beyond finger licking good. Wow. All right, guys, let's grab this up. Wow. Mm -mm. 
Just look at this burger and look at these patties or this patty. Absolutely superb. And of course, as always, a juicy, crispy chicken patty burger. Cheers! Okay, guys, let's grab this up and bite into it. Mmm. Mmm. Did you hear that crunch? This was so good. This is about the crispiest burger I've ever had. Not to mention the taste. It's just remarkable. Mmm. Chicken is tender. It's juicy. The seasoning is beautiful. Mmm. I just love it. I'm going to have another bite. Listen to that crunch, guys. Absolutely incredible. You've got to make this. Wow. And as always, for this recipe and many more great recipes, head on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of cool stuff there. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so because we're so close to that one million. And if you like what you saw, hammer that like button. Don't forget about the radio station. Head over there and listen up. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, stay safe. I'm still heating. And see you next time.